I also am very troubled by the importance of impact factor uh, on, on everybody's career. Um, it's particularly, I think it's much more important here in Korea than it is in the United States. But it's becoming important there as well. Um, based on impact factors of my publications uh, when I was a young professor, I probably wouldn't be tenured in Korea. Uh, because I, there were, you know, molecular pharmacology, JBC papers, they were, you know, they were good solid work that, you know, was build, I was building a foundation for what we would do in the future. But I wasn't, um, you know, I, I know from, uh, from what my colleagues tell me and what I've heard from other uh, Korean scientists that you are really expected to, um, to hit very high marks in terms of impact factors if you, if you want to advance, which means that you have to pick very <coughs> specific projects rather than um, necessarily something you're really interested in that ultimately may lead to high impact papers, but you have, to, you have to do much more work. You have to build a foundation. Um, so I'm, I'm, worried, I'm really worried about the, the impact of impact factor and, and metrics uh, in deciding whether you're a good scientist or not. I'd rather look at the papers that you write and whether, uh, whether you're building a foundation for an interesting area of research or simply jumping on top of an interesting topic because it's what's hot and what's likely to get into nature science or cell.